Hey, what's up guys? Stay Town. Welcome back to part 14 of PGA Tour. Today we're going to be doing the third round of the Players' Championship. We got some new equipment, I think, here, actually. Oh, we have a new driver. Let's check it out. Um, it's a Strixen driver. Should we switch over to that? Let's have a look at the Strixen and the Bridgestone. That has 86 power, 91 forgiveness, workability, rescue 6, and field 48. Let's check the difference here. This says field 46, workability 90, forgiveness 88, and distance 85. They're, overall, they're both the same. I'm gonna go for this, honestly. I like the look of this Rick's in a look. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stick with the Bridgestone. The Bridgestone, I mean. Bridgestone? What am I saying? And I think we unlocked a Bridgestone wood, a Strixen wood as well. Which is pretty similar. So I, I'm going to stick with the Bridgestone. I have the irons on for the... Any putter grips. Can you unlock putter grips? No, you can't. Okay. Well, we're going to stick with our gear for the moment now. And I know you can optimize gloves there, but I prefer like choosing my own stuff. Uh, we're going into Saturday, so I want to change my outfit for Saturday as well. Because um, our Friday one looks a lot better now, um, so we might as well do the same with our Saturday one here. Get a little bit of a. Bit we have on our fine. I'm gonna go with the white ones actually. It looks a bit better with that t-shirt for sure. Shoes. Purple and gold. Even though they're all horrific. Alright, that's fine. Let's jump in. We gotta change our Sunday outfit too, because that's horrendous. Alright, let's jump into the third round here of the Players' Championship. Let's go. We're in the top 20. It's time to make a move. It's moving day, baby. It's moving day at the Players'. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's third round coverage of the players. The players round four Hello in real life welcome, Rich Lerner, this year Nabilo. was the best golf I've watched. The most entertaining golf I've watched in, in a very, very long time. It was freaking awesome. professionals that play the tour they basically run and own this wonderful venue. It is their championship, and it's one that each of the players playing here this week would want to win. It might not be considered a major, but the players, it is their championship. Yeah, uh, buddy. May not be considered a major, but it's their championship. Very true. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now. Strix and Irons, let's go, play. baby. They look a lot better than the bridge be ones, I think. Right Jump up now. It's fine. That's okay. That's so a birdie chance to start off the day, ladies and gentlemen. Another solid approach shot. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is an awkward I can't even see the break on that. Seems like it's breaking a little bit to the right. It's hard to see with the sun, Jesus down two inches so we'll just go level and we'll bash this one into the back of the cup yes 
Come on, nice way to start off moving day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make a move here. We should, we should be a little bit under par going into the gauntlet anyway, because that's some tough shit. Nice scoring opportunity here, 532 yard, par 5, second hole, Frank. Considered one of the easier holes on the golf course, what do you think? Yeah, I think you can just cut this in half. 532 yards divided by two, really. There's two tee shots over 260 yards. For these guys, nothing more than a three or four. Yards. And that's why all you need off the tee is just a three wood with a little draw. You disappointed if you don't make four here? Not disappointed, but obviously you lose at least half a shot on the field. Oh, we're good. we better make four then, huh? Headed for the bunker? Bunker, really? Oh, that's nasty. Into the bunker. Might find it tough to make a four now. The bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled that he could open up a three iron. That's right, a three iron on a short bunker shot. Oh, we're making four now. What a bunker shot. Hell yeah. That's your favorite kind of birdie. That's two birdies to start off the day, and we get, we're just outside the top five now, ladies and gentlemen. This is... But you've got this is heating up here. At least four or five yards onto the screen, oh, oh yes, land in the hole. That's Ron Fire here. He might start off with three straight birdies here. He's got right on track. Frank going for another birdie here, just to get on a real roll. Oh, I left it out there. So close, Frank. Jeez, it was too fast. I think if I had taken the. Couldn't hit that much better. It was too fast, yeah, for sure. I think the break would have came into play if I had brought it back a little bit, but it did not. Because I was hitting it too fast. That's a par, though. Nothing too crazy. We just want to keep the bogeys off the card right now. We've started off good. Well, I'm right down the middle between them. So that's what I'm talking about. Is a wedge or at most a nine iron. That's a simple shot. What makes it so difficult? Well, several things. Um, the fact that the color of the hazard is yellow, which is oh, a I hooked that. So if you know your roles, it's not too bad though. I hooked it a little bit, but that's fine. That's perfect, actually. Would have been really good if I hadn't hooked that, huh? There's intimidation and there's embarrassment at stake. You know what I love about seven? I didn't even have to move that one. Right in the middle. We're in the top five. This is meant to be one of the easier championships in the game. If ever a hole was built for Lee Trevino, he used to love to cut it. Ooh, that would have been a hook. It just looks and screams for a shot. I still hooked it. No, I sliced that. What the hell? So tailed off. I hit the tree. I hit the tree and it went in the water. Ready to go. Um, well, I'm not taking it from there, so I'm gonna have to. Third shot now. I'm gonna have to take a tee shot again. You can still minimize the damage here. God damn it, guys! That's a definitive bogey you now. We're taking our third off the tee here because I don't want to start off there. I hit the tree somehow. I sliced it a little, uh, a little, uh, like a good bit. And it must have hit, cracked the tree and just shook it off even more right and short because it only carried 60 yards. You saw that. Just a barrage of mistakes, really. And uh, well, right, we have this repair. We want to get away with a bogey. If we can get up and down in here for a bogey, that would be absolutely brilliant. If you can kick forward a little bit, please. Oh, it's a tester for a bogey here. Jesus. One thing we did not need right now. Four inches up, so we want to go about 22 foot, 22 foot, yeah, and then we go, wait. It's breaking at the end a little bit, but, I mean, ah, more than that? Frank had the touch I thought at the start right it was there. breaking to the right. That's a double like bogey, ladies and gentlemen. Up, God damn it. It's my first double bogey in ages. That was just a stupid tee shot at the first. I hooked it. I thought I'd hooked it, so I tried to push it out a bit right to get it back to come in, but obviously that doesn't work. Ideally, you just want to hit that ball about 200 That's more like yards. it. It's going to leave you a shot of sort of 140 yards in. 
Then the green looks quite big because you're far enough back to those palm trees. How about 293 instead of 250? Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage too. That's a certainty. Oh, I left it a little bit short. Short swing. Oh, no. It's fine. Step, step. step. All right, we need to make a birdie after that double. Get back to... Birdie putt coming up. I put on this hole yesterday. Get back to five. What? Are you kidding me? How has that not gone in? This is bullcrap. I can't believe that hasn't gone in. Wow. Well, we're not even in the top ten anymore. We got into the top five for a millisecond there, but seventh hole here at TPC. Of course, we made a double bogey then. Into the wind, one of the stadium courses' most difficult greens to hit. That's a little bit of a slice again. It's a really weird tee shot here. Oh no, we're not gonna have any sort of shot there. We're on the path too. Oh great. Brilliant. That woman was gonna walk on my ball there too. Frank, we've seen guys like Phil Mickelson hit it off the cart path. How tough is this shot? Well, for a high-level professional, actually, it just looks harder than what it is. They'd rather hear than the rough any day. Oh, what the fuck was that? that? Bunker bound, it I tried like. to shape it. Well, he'll have to get shape shots are impossible. I'm telling you that right ball. now. Not They're impossible. Today, <laughs> enough to again be in the bunker. Like, they're ridiculously tough. How do I keep getting short swing? Okay, if we get away with the par here, we're doing well. Jesus, we're not doing well here today, ladies and gentlemen. These putts keep the round together. Oh my god, it's a buggy. I should have. I didn't even look to see if it was uphill. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! That's another bogey, so we're now freaking level for the day. After getting to three under early on. Oh, this is a par three, you're kidding. But number eight is a daunting challenge in its own right. It is, longest of the four par threes. Plus, it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back, and the front. Alright, that's pretty good. We have a chance for a birdie here. And this As is well difficult hole, 252 yard par 3. Oh, sneaky God distance. Damn it. S sneaky distance, alright. We need to make this. Is that too much break? No, I actually don't think it is. It's not enough! Oh my God! Can't make a putt today! I started off really well and I've just completely faded off into the background here and we're going backwards. Badly, we got the six under, all the way back to three now. Moving day is not going in the right direction. Frank, I think this is one of the most fascinating holes on the golf course. Oh, God. Par five, okay. 83 yard par five ninth hole. With technology now, a lot more players can reach this par five than two. Gone are the days where it was a true three shotter. But uh, I remember when Sergio Garcia hit that three with from what was it, 270, 280 yards. Still one of the best shots I've ever seen. Second Fuck shot. Sergio. We can't make it in two, that's for sure. You can still make a birdie though, come on. Frank getting set for this approach shot, our future golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is, this is where, it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great sit, example. Sit, sit, sit. Where, when you play your oh yeah. Games, it's almost like you're just playing oh, yeah. your subconscious. Everything happens. It just flows, and you don't really think about it. Oh, I thought I missed that. I was going to be incredibly mad if that hadn't gone in. I wish I could turn that celebration off right now, but apparently you can't. Okay, so front nine, four under. We're one under for the front nine with a double and a bogey, so we're not terrible. We know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. All right, one under on the front. It's not terrible at the, at the end of the day, but we made a double and a bogey, which were terrible. Looks like Rory McIlroy finds stick in the follow through. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, it looked like he caught a go right, go right, there, go right. Yeah, way too That's okay. Wow, way too deep. Right there, 
That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. What's this fool talking about? Come on! Yes, I needed that. We're sneaking into contention here. That birdie. Top 15 now on the leaderboard. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. Okay, we need to make a birdie What's here for here? sure. Get, get the six. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where your chance is. All right, beautiful. Good line in the fairway. We're not going to make that. Going at it anyway. Gone are the days when the pedigree is simple. Go on, go on, down get up. Oh, no. have a decent bunker shot there, though. Yeah, it looks like grandma's skillet these days. That's what it is. But, you know, putters are like drivers. What they've done with the technology has given you a bigger sweet spot. Even though putting is very, very precise, if you give a, a person a bigger sweet spot, he's going to make more putts. Oh, my bunker play is phenomenal at the moment. They get the six under right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh yes. Needs a few more of those on a good birdie. This time, I want to get some in the top ten. Up to the twelfth, Frank and a good birdie chance here. Yeah, good old length, short par four. Um, this green really divides itself into about three sections. There's a little piece to the right, piece short left, and the one at back left. So as long as you know where the flag is, flag, as long as you know where the flag is, just push that ball into the section where it is. You get up there, you're only going to have ten or fifteen feet left for birdie. Now the approach to the 12th, Frank, what's the player looking at? Well, it's a fun shot here for the second shot, especially if you've driven it down the right side, because then you can see the flag no matter where it is on the right. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, yeah, Just oh, yeah. On a roll now. Perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. Shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, I sliced the putt. Thank God it was okay in the end. Beautiful. With that birdie, we're in the top five now, ladies and gentlemen. That's the three birdies in a row. Frank, Hell yeah, so four off the lead. Here at the TPC Sawgrass, but 13 par three is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green. Set. 17 obviously has set. Two, set. two sections in it, front and top. It's another chance. This That's another chance. That's a chance for four in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Let's and do this. Again, we watch the ball roll all over I'm the playing screen. good now. Find the cup for the odd ace. That's way too much break, isn't it? There we go. Oh, short! It was three oh, inches down, though, and I only put him one foot back. Oh. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Maintain your footing out there. Frank, the 14th hole. A lot has happened here over the years. I think it's the litmus test on the back nine. That's where things really start to heat up. It looks like a straightforward tee shot, but often the eyes wander to that water down the left side. And of course, if you think about that, you invariably fire the ball towards the right with those hillocks and thick roughers. We'll get over that tree, actually. No chance of reaching the par four and two. We'll be fine. Well, this one is Where's the distance? Just a bit. Look out. I mean, that one is going to end up in the rough. Is that the rough? That's the fair way to me, Jerry. Oh, I hit the pin. I should have brought it back a little bit. That probably would have been in the hole. Should be taking my time a little bit more. I just smacked that one in, though. Far, though. All right, we're headed into the gauntlet after this hole. If you're just joining us, we're at the 15th hole here at TPC Sawgrass. 449 yard, par four. Frank, what's in store here? One of the prettiest tee shots on the golf course, Rich. Once again, you're coming out of a shoot of trees. Big bunker down the right side. You really want to hug that right side. That gives you a better entry into the screen. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops. Your good chance. Kick forward now. Get that kick. Get that kick forward. Oh, it's short a little bit. Thought it might. It looked like it was on a hill, kind of. So I thought it might kick forward a little bit more. Nicely played. Oh, four inches up. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Come on! Come on! Oh. Just misses. 
Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. And getting ready for the fight. Oh, we're gonna have a chance on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, if we just go even even par through the gauntlet or one under or something. We could get one two under maybe. You look in your Start off with a par five here if we could get a birdie here. This box. Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the mood better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five. Crowd's going mental there. Look at the amount of In the right position on this par five, in the fairway. And from the fairway for his second shot here. I'm gonna play this like I'm landing just there. Where'd it go left? Why'd it go left? There's no wind going left. Oh my goodness! What a shot! It's gonna be an eagle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it went right! I put it a little bit left, but I didn't think it was going to go that much. It's a tap in birdie, though. It's a tap in bird. That's fine. Frank, the history of this hole reads a little bit like an Edgar Allan Poe novel. It's scary. Oh, yeah, I like that number. This number here was what? It was 12, actually. Bob Twy, all the way back in 2000. I like that. I like that number. Give me a ho hole in one here. Oh, yes. Let's get to nine, ladies and gentlemen. Two shots off the lead. Oh, just about. Just about. Two shots off the lead of Henrik Stenson here. Boom shakalaka. Jason Day, Bill Haas, and Barber are up there too. That's a birdie to the last two. Some top follow but we can get a birdie here. Visual intimidation from the designer Pete Dot. Those wooden ball kids that go all the way down the left side of 18 give you like an ethical illusion. And there's not a single fairway bunker on the right to give you something specifically to aim at. You've got to fix that on my last three. This is not a hole where you want to be looking at anything other than a specific target. Like it's going left a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, that one wasn't pretty, but it's because uh, of the way I was standing. I think the ball was above so my feet a little bit. bit. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good approach here to the 18th and a good chance for birdie. Oh, nearly finished with true straight. When you think you're going to make birdie. Now, it's par, though. I have to really concentrate on this. Only two shots off the lead heading into the final day, ladies. Uh, gentlemen. All right, beautiful. Clap, 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 clap. Sherlock Keeley just two shots off the lead of Blaine Barber. Henrik Stenson's in second, and we're in third. See how it is after they finish up. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now. We have a chance to win here at TPC Sawgrass. Ooh, we're five off the lead of Blaine Barber now. He went, he done, and he done good. We're three off Henrik Stenson, so we'll be chasing Barber and Stenson in the final part. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure to hit with a big like. We'll be back for more PGA Tour very soon. Mahalo.